The Deckmaster shirt cut jacket is an outdoor weight piece you're just gonna love. Real quick, uh, let's have a look at some photos just to take a quick peek at it. I've got some uh, some terrific friends here in Lisbon and often in these videos and, and on the website, you'll see them modeling why Chroma looks. Let's take a look here. You can see the Deckmaster on Francisco. By the way, Francisco's a total boss and a hell of a surfer. Here it is on the legendary Tony Fox. Tony owns the best restaurant in Lisbon. Come visit and I'll, I'll take you down the street, do it, it's great. And of course, Hui. Hui is an actor. He's a, a super famous guy here in Portugal and he's just always fun to watch rocket in front of the camera. But look at on all three of these guys, even though they have different body types, the deck master looks amazing on them and it will for you too. Let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how it's built and how you use it. But I also wanna tell you uh, its story because it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Why did I call it the deck master? Good question. Well, I inherited years ago a Navy P coat, a US Navy P coat from my grandfather on my dad's side, Grandpa Max. Uh, here's a picture of him here, the original Max Lewis Israel. He lived to be 92 years old and was just razor sharp to the very end. We lost him in, in 2008 and ugh, I still miss him every day. Anyway, the, the Peacoat, he was a radar operator in the U.S. Navy in the Second World War. The coat was his. Uh, the U.S. Navy did these things right. It was built solid and at night it kept him warm on deck, which is why we call it the Deck Master. Now listen, I was taller than my Grandpa Max thanks to some fortunate Norwegian genes on my mother's side, but he was broad-shouldered like me, right? So it always fit me kind of cool, kind of kind of crop. My son Xavier owns that jacket now, owns that coat now, and he he actually also likes the, that about the way it fits him. Uh, I'd always wanted to, to do something like that pea coat, but everybody has a pea coat. They're all the same, and I just kind of wanted to do the, the concept justice and do it in a way that was fresh and cool and made you and me look fresh and cool wearing it, right? The world just did not need another pea coat. And then about a year ago, I found myself in A Coruña, Spain at an exhibit of photography for the famous Peter Lindeberg. Let's get a picture of Peter here. Peter uh, was a legend, right? He passed away in 2019. And the show for me was just a great way of reliving his work. One photo that night just nailed me. Here it is, take a look at this. This is probably by the, the way, a fragrant uh, violation of copyright law showing here, but until his fucking lawyers call me, I'll just share it with you. He shot this for Italian Vogue just a couple years before his death at 74. By the way, 70 something years old, he's, and you can just see he's still razor sharp. He's still on it, I love that. There was something striking about that coat. And now, now look, I know she's probably like a supermodel and we're somehow supposed to believe that, that she's in 1940 walking on the beach with her daughter, struggling to survive in a coat that probably costs more than a fiat. But something about that great collar and that fabric just clicked with me and I knew that's how I wanted to give new life to my 1940s coat from Grandpa Max. The collar is pretty typical for me. You guys know I always want that strong neck to shoulder line to give you a strong look up top. But that fabric, fuck. It's called boucle. You see it in a variety of forms. It comes from the French word meaning curled or ringed. And basically it's made from a series of looped fiber. It was a defining part of Chanel's early years. I think you guys have probably all seen that picture of Jackie O, right, wearing it. That's what it is. So uh, if I was gonna use boucle, my boucle could only come from one place, the French mill of Malia Kent, who've been doing stuff like this for years for designers, all the way from little old me here in Lisbon, all the way back to literally Coco Chanel. That's the heritage of this fabric, right? That's what you're dealing with. Let's take a look at how this beauty is made. Uh, but first, a quick look at how it fits in your wardrobe, all the way here at step four. You picked your shoes to define the look that you wanted, right? You grabbed a pant and then a core shirt. You might have a sweater involved in step three, or you might've skipped that. By the way, uh, speaking of step three, you guys know I have a shirt cut jacket in step three called the Varial different thing. That is a lighter weight. It's designed kind of more like a blazer, right? 
that isn't what this is. This is more of an outdoor weight garment. And it shows here. I mean, it's lined, right, like any other high-end coat. Nice and silky, I love that, right? Why do we do it? Keeps you warm, but it also slips off and on easily. So you don't look like you're fighting a fucking octopus as you try to take this thing off at the restaurant coat room. But you can see it's cut across the back here like a real outdoor jacket, not like a suit coat or something, right? So you've got this French super luxury fabric from the 40s, but with a high collar and form shoulders. There's some real structure here to give you that look like almost a boxer, I love that. The bottom has a curve here, like the overshirt you used to use for surfing or something, right? It's just fucking cool. It's got this great tapered athletic shape. I finish it off with a row of gunmetal buttons here. That's really, really cool. But look at how I keep them hidden inside here. There's a double pleat here, so I keep it hidden. When you close it up, I actually don't want those visible on the outside when you close it up. It's just super clean, a really nice touch, very chic. Typical for me, the, the chest pockets here are designed to accentuate your chest, to make your chest look bigger. The flaps here uh, have magnets in them, so you can get your phone or your glasses in, in and out with no fuss like that. Uh, they make the satisfying ka-chunk click when you, uh, when you close them, I love that. Same here, magnets up here at the top to keep the collar in place, by the way. Nice little touch there. The bottom, we have hand warmer pockets down here. Listen, these are really just to keep your hands warm, right? We don't put a lot of crap in our pockets in this position here because at midlife you realize anything at all that adds even a little more bulk around your waist is probably just a bad idea. But these are great on a cold night to keep your hands warm. Even in dark colors, the fabric just projects this understated cool, I mean, and frankly, just kind of expensive vibe. And it should. It's a. It's a top quality garment and an investment grade piece. I built this not just for you, but, but really honestly, I fully expect this to last a lifetime. With a little luck, some grandkid is gonna have his own story about this in 75 years and, and it's gonna remind him or her of, of you. Hopefully they think we're just as cool as Grandpa Max was.